A Russian propagandist has presented on state TV a simulation of an imaginary nuclear strike that would wipe out the UK and Ireland. Dmitry Kislyov, who is an ally of Russian President Vladimir Putin, was seen in a May 1st broadcast of the News of the World show narrating how the UK might be destroyed by a nuclear strike delivered either by air or sea. Just launch one, Boris, and England is gone, Kislyov said over a computer-generated simulation, referring to British Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Once and for all, why play with us? Kislyov said, it actually seems like they're raving on the British Isles. Why threaten never-ending Russia with nuclear weapons when you're on an island which, you know, is so small? He added that just one Sarmat missile would be sufficient to sink it once and for all. Kislyov added another way to put England onto the seabed would be to use Russia's Poseidon underwater drone. He stated, it approaches the target at a one-kilometer depth at 200 kilometers per hour. There's no way to stop this underwater drone. The warhead on it is up to 100 megatons. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Russia will not survive if it attacks Britain with nukes. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play online military-themed strategy game Conflict of Nations, which is played by millions of players worldwide. We talk a lot about military power and tactical plans of different nations on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? Conflict of Nations is set in the late 20th and early 21st century, fielding present-day and highly modern battlefield technology. At the core of the game is an exciting real-time combat system placing players in control of an existing nation of this world and its army, pitting them against other gamers in a struggle for world domination. Units are moved across the map in real-time often taking hours to fulfill their assigned mission goals, allowing for a very deep level of strategic planning and integrated tactical execution. Forming lasting alliances or short-lived coalitions is an essential part of the modern military environment. Hence, Conflict of Nations allows players to form cooperative plans and teams in an all-out effort to conquer set objectives through the combined force of arms. Conflict of Nations can be played in PC or mobile, so why wait? Register yourself using the link in the description below and get 13,000 gold reward along with one month Security Council membership. The assertions made by Dmitry Kislyov are mostly true. A Russian first strike will be devastating for Britain, but he's failed to examine the repercussions. While the Royal Air Force has decommissioned WE-177, free-fall thermonuclear weapons in 1998, and the country does not have any land-based nuclear-tipped missile, it does possess ballistic missile submarines. Though a nuclear strike will annihilate Britain, it will not be able to cripple Britain's lethal undersea asset, the Vanguard-class submarines meant for deterrence and second strike. Nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines are the most survivable nuke delivery option. While a first strike might wipe out a country's land-based missiles and nuclear bombers, it's very difficult to track a ballistic missile submarine patrolling quietly in the depths of the ocean, and it's almost impossible to take them all out in a first strike. The Vanguard class of nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines was introduced in 1994 and includes four vessels. They are the largest submarines manufactured in the UK, displacing 15,900 tons submerged. The class is fitted with an array of high-tech sensors. Submarines of this class have six 533mm torpedo tubes for launching Spearfish torpedoes, which is a heavy-weight torpedo weighing nearly two tons and capable of blasting enemy submarines or ships out of the water. However, these are intended primarily for self-defense. Ballistic missile submarines are not meant to proactively hunt enemy ships and submarines, but their mission is to lay low and provide the enemy as little a chance as possible to detect them. The main armament is the Trident II D-5 submarine-launched ballistic missile. Each Vanguard-class submarine can carry 16 of these. Trident II is developed by America's Lockheed Martin Missiles in Space. 
It was designed to be more advanced than its predecessor, Trident 1, and has greater range and payload capacity. The missile is 13.579 meters in length, 2.11 meters in diameter, and weighs in at 58.5 tons. It's a three-staged rocket, each stage containing a solid-fuel rocket motor. It's thought to have an accuracy of 90 meters CEP. Trident 2 has a range of 11,000 kilometers, or 6,835 miles, and is a multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle. MIRV missile. Each Trident can carry up to 14 W88 475 kiloton warheads or 14 W76 100 kiloton warheads. To give the viewer a perspective, Little Boy atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima had a yield of 15 kilotons of TNT, and Fat Man atomic bomb that was detonated over Nagasaki had a yield of 21 kilotons of TNT. In short, a full salvo from a Vanguard-class submarine, which can be launched in less than one minute, could unleash up to 16 multiple 14, i.e. 224, nuclear warhead. Four submarines can together, theoretically, launch 896 warheads. Though the British stockpile of nukes is said to be about 250, which means the full capacity of 896 slots won't be utilized, the number's still enough. Four submarines present in different locations, launching Trident 2 in salvo mode, will be an overwhelming force which no missile defense system could protect against, especially taking into account that the significant number of slots in the missiles will be used for decoys. While Russia has a huge landmass, it would still be obliterated. Dmitry Kizilyov has failed to take into account MAD principles. Mutually assured destruction, or MAD, is a doctrine of military strategy and national security policy in which a full-scale use of nuclear weapons by two or more opposing sides would cause the complete annihilation of both the attacker and the defender. It's based on the theory of deterrence, which holds that the threat of using strong weapons against the enemy prevents the enemy's use of those same weapons. It's clear that a nuclear attack on Britain will mean total destruction of Russia by Britain's lethal underwater platform. Also, in that case, NATO's Article 5 will be triggered and Russia will have to face the nuclear forces of France and the US too. Dmitry Kizilyov should know that no one will be the winner in a nuclear war between two major nuclear powers. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.